and welcome to The Charismatic Voice. Today we'll be talking about the baritone, so if you're looking for another voice type, check out my other videos. The baritone is the middle classification for male voice types. They sing higher than tenors, but lower than basses, and also they sing a really wide range of characters and roles, both leading and supporting. The standard baritone range goes from about G2 to A4, but of course there are many kinds of baritones. So if you have a lighter lyric baritone, they're going to have a few more notes above, and a fuller dramatic baritone will have a few notes below. Baritones often portray the other guy, as in the other guy in a love triangle who usually doesn't win the girl, or sometimes they'll play the other guy who's involved in a secondary love story. Baritones also often play men who wield power, like royalty or nobility or military commanders or even father figures. And they also play the villain, although sometimes basses play villains too. And finally, you often see baritones playing guys that are smoking hot. This is mostly due to an eye candy for singers website called Barahunks. Barahunks started out as a fan base website for these particularly gorgeous baritones, and it evolved to become a particularly large promoter of baritones in concert and on stage. It all started when a particularly handsome baritone named Nathan Gunn removed his shirt during the Pearl Fishers, revealing a drool-inducing six-pack underneath. The opera loved it, the public loved it, and they wanted more and more scantily clad baritones. It shows off publicity pictures and photos from recent performances, and even awards new members with a t-shirt. This isn't a joke. Hot baritones have become a significant trend in opera, and a lot of emerging singers feel pressure to live up to the good looks. If you'd like to see more, go to barahunks.blogspot.com. Some examples of well-known baritone roles include Don Giovanni, the title role by Mozart. In fact, quite a few of Mozart's operas have noblemen as a leading baritone role. The title role from The Barber of Seville. Escamillo, the Toreador and the other guy in Carmen. Scarpia, the chief of police and villain in Tosca. Germain, the father in La Traviata. And Papageno, the best friend and bird catcher in The Magic Flute. A few famous classical singers are Dietrich fischer dieskau Tito Gobi, Gerald Finley, Cheryl Milnes, Nathan Gunn, the guy who took his shirt off. Baritones are less seen in current pop music, but a couple of famous baritones are Elvis and Frank Sinatra. Now let's talk a little bit about what this voice is great for and maybe not so great for. Baritones have a really wide gamut of color. Their voices can be strong and robust or have these gorgeous floating moments on top. Maybe because they have so many colors, they're particularly good at storytelling and they're in a good range to sing a lot of words without vowel modification, so the text will be more clear. There is one kind of hilarious bad habit that baritones are known for called the baritone claw. The baritone claw is a raising hand position seen in particularly dramatic moments that looks akin to the singer raising an imaginary sacrificial heart just ripped out of a victim in the Temple of Doom. If you'd like to see more examples, try searching hashtag baritone claw on Twitter. It's a thing. And if you'd like to learn more about voice or vocal health or anything else, feel free to ask me questions and hit subscribe. Oh, <laughs>